So I play a lot of Crucible. Nearly 5k kills this season already. A lot. I play a lot of Crucible. And what I've noticed is that Crucible is the worst it's been in a long time. Given how much Crucible I actually play, I've managed to narrow it down to three main problems that are plaguing Crucible right now. So let's get into it. So problem one is the map size and spawns. Arguably the biggest problem in Crucible right now is the terrible spawns as a result of the size of the maps. Control. Simply put, the maps are too small and combined with the current state of stasis, either Bungie need to invest in larger maps such as how they had back in D1 in combined arms or alter the spawn system so supers such as Silence and Squall can't decimate through a spawn. Which segues into the second biggest problem plaguing Crucible right now. Current stasis abilities. Enemy zone A. The stasis abilities have become such a crutch that light based abilities do not stack up. At the time of this recording, a stasis nerf is due, but IMO, I doubt it will be enough. Withering Blade and Shiver Strike are some of the most unbalanced abilities seen in the Destiny sandbox in a while, but a simple balance would resolve this problem. Stasis abilities should slow instead of instantly freezing. With the slowness stacking, if the Hunters are able to hit both Withering Blades instead of just one. The combination of stasis abilities with the current state of Duskfield grenades leads to spamming of the abilities. A solution myself and my friends came up with is what we are dubbing Power of the Light to allow light based subclasses to stand a chance against stasis abilities. Simply put, this what we are dubbing Power of the Light would mean that if you are able to get out of a stasis ability, e.g. a dusk field grenade, then for 10 to 15 seconds you are immune to other stasis abilities. This would give people incentive to use light based subclasses. And not have to rely on the crutch that stasis has become. Which leads into the third problem. Stasis supers in general. We have had some insane supers in Destiny 1 and Destiny 2 over the years, but Stasis is on another level. We are now at a point where light subclasses physically can't compete. Titan supers have always been quite mental ever since Destiny 1, but Glacial Quake, it takes the cake. Silence and Squall, for example, is also on another level. Silence and Squall can wipe a whole team and last way too long, especially when thrown into a spawn, linking back to the first problem of the small map sizes and the terrible spawns. Some simple changes would really balance the whole super class in general. Reducing the mobility on Titans, especially in super, is so needed. Titans are the tank class, it's obvious that it's, it's undeniable that Titans are the tank class. So why can they easily outmaneuver Hunters and why are they the fastest class, especially in their super? A simple mobility nerf would easily resolve this issue. A Glacial Quake on the right map can go from their side of the map to another side of the map, back to their original side of the map, all while in super. Additionally, another thing that should be introduced is if you manage to kill the caster of silence and squall it should instantly disappear this would prevent the super from going on ridiculously way too long which is currently a massive problem in the crucible other things i note include the current state of hunter stompies a simple nerf to those would be a cooldown or if you spam the jump the jump becomes less effective mask of back chris keep the shift but remove the ability to freeze someone if you catch them in the shift. Geomags are currently receiving a nerf from Warlocks. However, I'm worried that if the stasis abilities aren't nerfed enough, Bungie have just nerfed one of the only things that can stand up against stasis, especially for Warlocks. 
So, map sizes and spawns, stasis abilities, and stasis supers in general are the three big problems plaguing Crucible right now. Obviously, there are bigger problems, e.g. fell winters and sunsetting not actually affecting the game at all. I could easily take a 120 hand cannon into Crucible that has been sunset and still do well with it just because of the current sandbox. But those are the three biggest problems that I feel are plaguing the Crucible at the moment. But let me know in the comments what you'd change. Let me know in the comments if you agree with what I said or if you disagree. What would you change to bring people back to Crucible? Because that is sorely what is needed right now. Make sure you leave comments, like and subscribe, do all of that cool stuff and I'll catch you next time.